So we've covered finding the perimeter and area of basic shapes, but what if we've got an irregular or an odd looking shape like we do here? First off, keep in mind, perimeter and area have not changed. Perimeter is the distance around, and area is the space that fills in the region within the shape. The first thing I like to do in these is identify if I have any missing measurements. Here I do not have a distance or a length for this segment, nor this segment. So let's find those first. Let's go ahead and compare some of our side lengths and see if we can make any progress. I see that this red segment here, the bottom segment, is a length of 15 feet. My blue segment up here is 8 feet and my missing segment I want to solve for in green is right here. Now if we shift this green segment up, we can do that just because we're interested in its length only. We can see that the blue and green segment together should be the same length as this red segment that has a length of 15. Knowing that, I can say, okay, well, if this is eight feet, whatever my green segment length is, it's gonna have to add to 15. That tells me that this length has to be seven because eight plus seven is 15. You could find that just by seeing what number adds to 15 or subtracting eight from 15. Either way, we found our missing length here. Let's see if we could find our last missing segment by doing the same thing, only using uh, the other line segments to compare. In red, I've got a length of 12 feet, in blue, five feet, and in green, I'm gonna go ahead and shift that over just like we did before, and that's my missing length. Five plus what is gonna give me 12? I can see that that green length is going to be seven also. Now that we found our missing lengths, the perimeter is easy. We just need to add all of our sides around the shape. That's 15 plus 12 plus eight plus seven plus seven plus five, giving us a perimeter of 54 feet. Next, we wanna find the area of this shape. Now, whenever you're dealing with irregular shapes, it's always easiest to see if you could break it down into basic shapes that you're more familiar with. Check this out. If I extend this line right across here, I end up with two basic rectangles. We have one rectangle right here, and we've got a second rectangle right here. Now, if I find the area of each individual rectangle, that's gonna give me the overall area of my irregular shape. This red rectangle has a length of 12 and a width of eight. That's going to give me an area of 96. Our blue rectangle has a length of seven and a width of five. That's gonna give an area of 35. Adding those areas together, 96 plus 35, we get an overall area of 131 square feet. 